or I'm going to talk about in this video of uh, trying to prevent lower back pain or trying to find the cause of it in order to relieve that lower back pain. I think this is a problem for a lot of people. Received a message from somebody who specifically wanted my advice because he's a martial artist and he wanted to find out you know, ways to relieve that lower back pain. So this is a common problem for a lot of people. All right. I'm gonna educate you on some things that I learned from a chiro, like a chiropractor, and what the person said to me. As far as my personal experience, I never really have much issues with lower back pain, um, but I think there was one time where it did, you know, I did end up getting a little lower back pain, and there's a lot of factors that could be involved. So you gotta look into different things. It might not be specifically the martial arts. It could possibly be. You know, you said that your posture is not as straight because of martial arts, which is understandable. Um, <clears throat> that the chiropractor that I talked to kind of said the same thing about me, which can make sense because in fighting, at least in the way that I fight or train to fighting, you know, in order to have a better stance, you kind of have to lean your shoulders a little forward and kind of put your chin by your, by your shoulder. So you're kind of like hunching over just a little bit, all right? So what the chiropractor was saying to me, judging from my posture, she said that it wasn't like completely upright. But at the same time, I think my posture is fine. Like this is my relaxed posture. If I, if I look to the side, it's like this. This is my relaxed posture. It just feels natural to me. I look in the mirror, it looks fine to me. You know, when I walk, I think it looks fine, but she said it wasn't perfect, but to tell you the truth, I mean, who walks with perfect posture, you know, it just seemed, you know, to me, she said to, to, for it to be perfect, I'd have to be like this, basically, you know, like walking like this, and to me, it just, to me, it's, it's just unnatural, I don't see myself walking like this every day, you know, like basically sticking my chest out and, and just crunching up my back, this is supposedly, to the, according to the chiropractor, this was supposedly like good posture. And this is, I guess, like military, like, like t type of um, standing, you know, just like this. I mean, this is how they stand. And to walk like this, to me, is just, um, I don't know. It just seemed, to me, it seems silly. Kind of like you're, you're purposely sticking your chest out. I mean, mine is more relaxed. I think it's fine. But I guess when you, when you train in fighting and you, and you start to get used to to slouching your shoulders a little bit because of your fighting posture. You just gotta remember when you walk in everyday life, you wanna just be a little bit more upright. Just remember to have your back straighter, you know, upright. So then so then you work on your lower back and you're keeping it straight, okay, in everyday life. You do, obviously don't wanna be walking around like this. I've seen people with this type of posture. I mean, this is really bad. This is not good. If I was walking like this, it's not good, alright? You should be upright, but if you want to, I guess you could try to get used to walking like this, but I don't know if, you know, but at least, at least have it at least straight where you're, you're walking with your back pretty straight. So that's one thing. Another thing is, it could be the way that you're sleeping. Maybe if you're sleeping on your back, Maybe it's, it's, it's hurting your back, or if you're sleeping on your stomach. Maybe if you try sleeping on your side, that might relieve some of that pain. Another thing is, depending on your occupation and what you do in everyday life, if you drive a car a lot, that could cause... If, you, if you're in the car, like say, six hours a day, or eight hours a day, that could cause lower back pain. And what I recommend for people like that is to get out the car every hour or two to, to stretch out a little bit. That can help a lot. I notice like police officers, th th it's common for lower back pain because they're in the car all the time. And the posture in the car really scrunches up the back. And that's not good for you. Even the chiropractor was saying about being in the car a lot, it can really, you know, be bad for your back. You know, another thing is, um, so if you drive a lot, get out the car every, every, hour to stretch out a little bit and also like police officers for example they wear like these gun belts you know these heavy gun belts which basically put on like an extra 20 pounds on them that causes lower back pain 
So if you have like these heavy belts, that could cause lower back pain. Um, another thing that could help, a lot of lower back pain is due to not having a strong midsection, not having a strong stomach. You might have to work on your abs a lot more in order to equalize, you know, because if you have strong abs, it'll take away a lot of the pressure on your back. Okay, so you need to, to work at and get stronger abs. This will help the lower back a lot. Also, you might want to target specifically on lower back exercises so then you can have a stronger lower back. So it goes in both ways. You need to work on the stomach and you need to work on the lower back and work on the legs because a lot of times lower back pain is triggered because you're not picking up objects in the right way. Or when you're lifting heavy objects, you're not lifting with your legs, you're lifting with your back, and that causes lower back pain. Okay? So, for example, if I'm picking something up, say, I'm picking up these, these heavy weights here. Say you're weight, weight lifted, and you're picking up these heavy weights. You don't want to be lifting it like bending your, bending your back like this, and then lifting up like that. Then you're going to be hurting your back. You want to use your legs. And, and come down and lift up. So rather than lifting up like this, you'd be lifting up with your legs, bending your legs down like this, like you're in a squat, and lift with your legs up. All right? That goes with lifting anything. And even when you lower it back down, you use your legs to lower it down like that. Okay? Rather than like this. Okay? You want to lower with your legs. Okay? So... What you have to learn is to see if you got strong enough legs. You should be able to do a squat without bending your back too much. So, you see my back right here? I shouldn't have to squat down like this. I'm bending my back too much if I do that. I should be able to keep my back straight as possible and squat down like this. Okay, if I got a strong back or strong legs, I should be able to do it with ease. Okay, as straight as I possibly can. Alright, so if you can't do that, say you start lifting up off your, your feet or off your heels, and you're like this, that means your legs aren't strong enough. That means you gotta train more squats so then you can have stronger legs. So then when you lift things up, you will use your legs to lift it up. You'll be lifting like this, not like this. Okay, that will cause a lot of lower back pain. All right. Another thing could be maybe the way, something that I experienced, your shoes. Like, if you have insoles in your shoes, and say, okay, for example, like, you got regular shoes that are comfortable, and then all of a sudden you start putting insoles in there, that, that, that change in the arc of your foot could cause lower back pain, because your body's not used to it. And then say, then you start, your body starts getting used to those insoles, and then when you take the insoles away, then it'll cause more, like, different type of pain. So you have to, you know, it might be the shoes that you're wearing that might be causing the back pain. Maybe, it, maybe the shoes, the, the, the quality of it, or maybe it's not it fitting you right. Maybe there's not enough cushion, and that could cause lower back pain. Say you're wearing dress shoes all the time, that could cause lower back pain. If you wear some shoes that are more comfortable, um, like some running shoes that, are, that are fit you correctly, that, that are comfortable, it might minimize that lower back pain. Maybe it's the way that you're running. Maybe you're, you're not running correctly. Um, if you run like heel to toe like this, it, it, might, it'll be be it might be better for you. It might put less stress on you. Maybe you're not running right. Maybe you're running on surfaces that are too hard. You know, maybe you're running on like concrete too much. I mean, there's so many factors involved that it's really hard to, to you know, find out exactly what it is, but you gotta, 